Hey guys, what's up? It's Tony the Soy Sauce Assassin. It is what, Saturday? And we're doing the smoke together. So before we start everything, <clears throat> let me again turn my uh, heater into a uh, venting mode so that I can actually vent. Because the room, the place was cold. We had rain today and, and I had to turn the heater on so that we can actually have a uh, place that's not cold for me to do this. So here we go. Okay, <clears throat> so wrong at wrong TV. What's wrong? So we have Cat, we have Martina Maya, we have Sherry, we have Joe, we have uh, do, 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 James Irvin who's not sleeping. We have uh, Michael Wells, and we have uh, Round Real TV also here. <clears throat> so today we are going to do the smokes together. Uh, let me turn on the, the some music so that it's not as boring to hear my voice with it. And there we go. How's everybody doing? How's everybody doing? Let's talk about a few things today. Uh, I bet there's quite a bit of stuff we can talk about. And you know, isn't it nice that I have my voice back pretty much? Uh, it's not, at least I can tell that's my voice, not some really sexy guy's voice. Anyways, <clears throat> let's get this started. All right. So God, today is the Casa Cuevas Reserva Natural. I hope everybody have this cigar today because we're talking about smoking this cigar today <clears throat> for a while. All right. Ah, oh, so good. This this is something downright. I'm telling you, I I'm personally not one that likes the Connecticut for uh for Casa Cuevas. Casa Cuevas Connecticut was never my favorite. Uh, from design, from the band design, from the band color to the cigar itself was too light for me. It wasn't. <clears throat> it wasn't my favorite. Uh, it wasn't even to, to a point where I go, you know what, I'll buy a box just for the heck of it. No, it's not there. But this is one of those that, you know, I should buy a box. You know, I should buy a box. Kyle is on. Uh, Tim is also on. <laughs> so let me light this up. Just about, just about. That coffee was actually surprisingly good. And I'm surprised how much coffee that he sent out. Those are like whole beans. So those, those bags are actually a lot of coffee. Uh, the coffee is very good. But I'm on a vegan diet, so guess what? Eating grass, drinking grass. All right, so got to use the lighter he sent me. You know, uh, I like this. It's actually, I think this this has got to be primary uh, cigar lighter for this table. I'm using James on the other table that I have on over there, the Greenback Studio. Uh, but over here, I think this has got to be the primary one. <clears throat> Lights up fast. Toast it real quickly. Sear the shit out of it. And... Very good. I need to turn this higher. 10. Move that air for me. That's right. All right, so. I might need another cigar to like just finish making dinner with family. Okay. JD Kiddo, hi, how are you doing? So today, the reserva, yeah. The reserva itself, I think. Number one, the, the attractive coloring. Royal blue. Really gets me. Really gets me. I mean, blue color. Who doesn't? Who who wouldn't take another look at it? And I think they did a good job of not choosing the gold lettering, but silver lettering. It's good. Do a really good job uh, on the, on the overall coloring. Uh, here we go. I think he did a really really good job on that. I'm using a tactical one. It's awesome. Good and you and what's up, Martin? I'm doing great today. I'm, I'm actually feeling a lot better from being sick for a few days. Uh, overall, doing much better. 
than days before. Like, you know, if you hear me yesterday or the week before that, you will think that I get the coronavirus, <laughs> okay? Or, 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 you know, you know, today we can spend a few seconds talking about coronavirus. I think that that's actually okay. First of all, it's not that big a deal. It's not epic, but it's not that big a deal. Only like what? Uh, like what, 40 something people died? Not too bad, okay? There are more people dying from drinking water and choke to death in the world in one day than 40 something people over one uh, bronchitis, flu, uh, pneumonia related diseases. Trust me on that. All right, it's, it's, it, it's a problem, but it's not that bad of a problem, okay? It's a problem, but not that bad of a problem. People are overreacting, including my wife. Everybody is overreacting over a newfound flu, right? Newfound flu, okay? So it, it's, here's the thing. There are things that you shouldn't just, you just shouldn't be eating, okay? At that, that place, they, they eat crazy stuff, and that's, that's known, okay? So if you got to eat rodents, you got to eat crazy stuff, you are going to get sick, and then, uh, you know, some sort of virus is going to catch you, and then, you know, you're going to die. So, yeah, that's true. Is the city handle this in the correct way? No. All right. The city did a horrible job handling this. Uh, the city of Wuhan uh, pretty much scared everybody to death. Okay. And and the small hospital didn't do it right either. And everybody with any sickness at all will go to the hospital thinking that they are sick. Here's a problem. <clears throat> when they are not sick, they go into a hospital filled with people that might be really sick. They are going to get sick. All right. Okay. Yeah, in Wuhan, you can eat bats, you can eat rats, you can eat snake, anything that you can think of, you can eat. People eat peacock there for crazy. This the peacock does not taste good. I can guarantee you that. Okay, and, and true. Yeah, let's not be mean though. Let's not mean. Granted, China could lose a few people, but in, you know, it's it is sickness. Granted, that they probably deserved it. Okay, they probably deserve to get sick for doing what they're doing. You know, they pay the price. Oh, cigar is so good. Uh, so now I'm gonna go turn off the heat, and I'll be back in like split of a second, so that the smoke can actually get sucked away. The thing about uh, see this, the smoke immediately moves much faster. The thing about this room is that if I have the heater on, the heater is feeding the air to the purifier, so the purifier is not draining the air where it's supposed to be. So I turn off the heat just so that. I'm gonna grab another cigar while she was smoke. Come on, there. We already talked about what we're gonna smoke. So we're gonna smoke today, all right? We're gonna smoke while we're gonna smoke today. Red label, black label, and both are very good. Okay. So, yeah, it, it, it's blown out of proportion, and there's too many conspiracy theory about bio. Uh, weapon uh, uh, and try to you know make the president of China look bad. You know, come on! If somebody want to leak bio weapon, they will go to every single city in China and leak one out. So every single city will get sick at the same time. No, this is just a bunch of idiots eat the wrong things and get sick and, and decide to transfer to other people and uh, uh, other people thinking that's just regular it's flu season and then they just you know, win. Okay, now it's not that bad of a disease. Okay. People are dropping dead, sure. People are dropping dead, but it's because that they're old. You know, when you're old, like 60 years old and up, you just simply get pneumonia and kill you, all right? So, uh, you know, if you're a young age, pneumonia isn't going to kill you, you know? You know what I mean. 42 ain't it too bad. 42 out of billions of people, trillions of people, right, billions of people. It's just billions of people. Billions of people, it's like 0.00001%. And like I say, 42 people, there are more people dying out of eating ice cream than that. Okay? Like literally today, there are more people that die from tripping on a rock than 42. Alright? So 42 people isn't, isn't a big deal. Isn't a big deal. So, no, don't make that big deal. However, however, if you do anything wrong, 
you know the bad trio if you did do anything wrong i'm gonna lick a coin and i'm gonna send it to you <laughs> i'm gonna lick a piece of paper so it grows you lick a piece of paper and send it to you guys be careful <laughs> it'll be and, and you know it's really funny because there's a lot of uh, online retaliation against asian people uh, that just basically saying that you know those assholes are bringing disease into our country blah 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 blah, blah and people are bad blah 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 blah, blah. but you know I, I really don't think this you know it's not necessary i mean it's, it's a small town in china that people eating wrong things and they end up dying very normal okay every single day that happens right it's not it's just it, it's, there are more people dying for food poisoning than that Okay, there are more people that does that. You know, somehow the the World Health Organization, the CDC, consider people under forty four young people. Stop eating anything that is not. You know, those people should have turned vegan. I'm telling you, if they're vegan, this would never happen to them. The worst thing you can get from being vegan is uh, salmonella that was the only thing that you gotta get all right salmonella and that's pretty much it so yeah they should have turned vegan they should have turned vegan they should have done it you know why 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 eat all kind of things it's crazy it's crazy <clears throat> a good way to start new year i'm telling you this is a good way to start new year so yeah talk about this cigar this particular cigar in the beginning very when it comes to, like saying natural, this is natural leaf, not kinetic leaf. It it, it kind of does, uh, uh, give me the impression that's cross between a Habano and a Connecticut. All right, it's got that cedary taste at the same time, a, a tad of like the butteriness to it, and um, a little bit salty too. It's got it's got that enhanced flavor compared to the Connecticut version. It's got a little bit of the dryness too, the bitterness that kind of enhance the the, the Connecticut ish flavor to this. So it really is, it feels like Connecticut enhanced for me. No, no, no. The, uh, so this is what happened. They're saying that uh, the bat probably eat something with a disease or bacteria. And when you bite and suck blood out of a rat or a snake, either one of them, and uh, and then that particular snake or rat got eaten by human. Now, I have to say the pepper part of this is not particularly pronounced. There is it; you can feel a little tingly at the end, but uh, but it's not really peppery in the beginning. It's not that peppery. It's not killing you. It's not gonna make your nose run, uh, kind of peppery. It's only a tad. It's almost like a steak and cheese kind of peppery. Not not that much. Hey Joseph. Smoke output is great on this one. Like honestly, I think because this is only a few bucks more than a. Uh, regular the core uh you know habano connecticut and the maduro line i really think that you know it'll be much worth it by just buying this one i you know instead of buying the core i will have bought this one you know what kind of cigar i'm smoking we're smoking the casa cuevas reserva natural robusto that's a mouthful <laughs> casa cuevas reserva natural robusto or as uh, Brendan, the cigar mechanic, what has to say, Casacuevas. Yeah, you know, whenever he says that, he he does that. Casacuevas. So I, I know now that I have my voice, I can actually do that. So Casacuevas, Reserva Natural. Now this is not. This is I, I guess this will be considered as boutique brand, brand right? Because it's not that big of a company, and uh, most majority of places that has 
uh, Bautista God might not have this. I mean, it is grow. It is slowly growing uh, to expand its horizon to 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 availabilities. But no, thanks for internet that you can actually purchase them on the internet and various things that um, you know we, we we can purchase from now. Last since we're talking about uh Sega Mechanic, let's talk about the things that we're running for Shadow Smoke Legion. Okay, this is only for Shadow Smoke Legion. This is a deal only for Shadow Smoke Legion. And uh just so that if you're not Shadow Smoke Legion, I'm sorry. Okay, but here's it here, here it is. We're running a raffle between now and May because uh the the Sagan Mechanic LLC uh, is going to be two years old at that time, okay? And so how to do it is to between then, between yesterday and March, you just have to buy one box of Sagan Mechanic wrapped cigar in any of the Sagan Mechanic wrapped stores to get a ticket well not a ticket but two tickets okay two tickets for every box you buy is two tickets okay two ticket per box that you buy now uh, if you have you're asking why two ticket what about one ticket well the one ticket option is not available yet so what happened is cigar mechanic is going to come up with some cigar mechanic exclusive sample packs uh, in some of the places that he's gonna be uh, repping, if you buy those sampler pack, it will count too. It'd be a lot cheaper than the box, and you'll get one ticket. So box two ticket, sample pack one ticket. Now here's the thing: no matter how many sample pack you buy, you get one ticket. But if you buy boxes, it's every box is two ticket. Okay. You know, I probably make it so that you know if it's. Uh, if if you buy three or three or four sample pack, you get two tickets. Here we go. Because the sample pack is extreme, like, extremely cheap. In uh, from based on information I get. Okay, so that is the case, and what we're winning aside from Shadow Smokers Legion backpack. And Saga Mechanic Tumblr. We're also getting few more to be replenished by Saga Mechanic. He hasn't given me a list yet, so as he have him, he will give me a list of things uh, that we can throw in there as winners. And we'll draw. We'll keep drawing winners until we run out of it. Okay, we'll keep drawing winners until we run out of it. I might throw something in there. I I don't know. I don't know. Uh, there are some more stuff I'm buying. I might just throw in there anyway. You know, you know, maybe I'll throw in a, a Shadow Smokes Legion beanie or hats uh, or beanie 2.0. Right? All right, we're making the beanie 2.0 now. I, I mean, there are only one person right now has beanie 2.0, I think, which has the round logo on it instead of the logo plus the line. <clears throat> Okay, I actually bought more. I ordered even more backpacks. <laughs> I ordered even more backpacks. Uh, yeah. It's a gun mechanic, visco, girl, flask, and SSL backpack. Hell yes. <laughs> I, we just got our promo box for the cigar show. I like the tumbler. Okay, so that's part of the the exciting thing that's happening uh, between now and uh, and and May. We're also doing the maybe some boss No, that's separate. That's another thing. You know, that's coming up. All right, James. Until when I got it, that'll be a different story. All right, we 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 we'll work our way. Okay, we'll work our way. Now the second thing that's happening is we are still doing our long ash, uh, the king. Uh, challenge which we choose to be uh, the 1502 Lancero I did talk to Cigars Daily they will try to carry a couple box of those so uh, 
uh, when it comes up, I'll let you guys know so that you can pick it up from there if you wanted to. Um, obviously, we'll have discount code for that. Okay, so that's that's what's happening right now. Obviously, in between, we gotta have more events, but then I have to, I want to make sure they are organized before that because, like like I said, I still have to take care of some of these uh, shadow gazer, shadow gazed uh, stickers that's coming up. UPS actually lost my package. No kidding. Uh, supposed to be here on the twenty third, and they lost it. So they had to remake them and send it to me again. Yeah, so yeah, that that's why we're waiting on that particularly uh, because we have more things going on. So, cigar's really good. It's, I really like the cigar. I think the Maduro does shine a little bit more than this, but I think in terms of the difference for me, I either smoke the Habano or this. Uh, majority of the time. I am going to buy another box of the Maduro, the Reserva Maduro, but he's out of stock, so I asked him to order more. Yeah, yeah, Michael probably did it. Michael, you probably did it. Michael probably stole the, the box of stickers for himself. You know, there's one thing that I personally was kind of disappointed about the Casa Cueva Reserva line. There's one thing. I, I'll let you guys guess what is the one thing that I'm very disappointed about. Give you a few seconds. What is the one thing I'm very disappointed about Casa Cueva Reserva line? Knowing me, how I am, you, you guys can probably guess why. No? Nobody? Nope, that is not why I'm disappointed. The, the Habano itself really is pretty good. And I don't think that needs much of a fix. Alright. Just look closely what is the difference between the Habano line and the Casa Cuevas Reserva line. What is the difference? What is the difference between them? What is the difference between them? You know, this is not my first box, and it wouldn't, it wouldn't be my last box either. So, what is the difference? <clears throat> All right, here, the difference is Casa Cuevas Reserva line uses paper box. Paper box. Paper box. It's a sin when it comes to cigars. Especially that you're considering that to be your premium cigars. And your regular line cigar has a wood box, but your premium line has paper box. You know what I mean? This cigar, each one is like average $4 more per cigar. And you're selling it in paper box? Versus wood box? One of my pet peeves is that cigar that sells in paper box really pisses me off. I don't like paper box. I think that the, uh, the amount of money that you're paying for it includes the presentation. And then, and then to charge it as a premium cigar, you should have wood box. <clears throat> I think it's a tall wood box. Uh, I, I remember it's a wood box though. I remember it's a wood box. But then I, as you can see, I, 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 you know, it is a big wood box, I think. If I didn't remember wrong, it's like it's like a roll of ten wood box. It is a big cigar, so it is a wood box. I remember. But this this cigar is no joke, though. It is heavy. This cigar is heavy, so you know it wouldn't be something for me. I like I wouldn't buy a box of this because it's so heavy that you know I most likely if I draw a blank draw, I probably won't smoke this. Hey, Ashimoto.
You know, I just realized I call I call Hashimoto Hashimoto because he's Japanese, but everybody else calls him Matt. <laughs> I'm so used to talk to another Asian person, Japanese person by their last name, and American people in you know. Uh, in, in, in their first name, that like I sometimes I don't realize that I'm calling Hashimoto Hashimoto instead of Matt. But hey, you know I'm calling you by your last name out of respect, not because I want to make fun of your name. So just so you know, I'm very used to used to calling people that. <clears throat> when it comes to Asians. We don't call people by their first name until we're consented. Like you know, people say, "Hey, you can call me by your, my first name." Usually, is you call them by their last name as show as respect, you know, because you don't know them. So, so guy is good. Construction is good. The burn is great. The draw is something I definitely approve of because a lot of cigars they have really tight draw. Uh, you guys saw me smoke uh, this Elanco's the other day, and Elanco itself uh, is is it's not a bad cigar, but I wouldn't call it good either. It's kind of bland to me, but the draw bothered me. The bar, the, the the draw, like you have to take so much energy to draw, and then that doesn't taste much. That's what bothers me. A loose draw cigar usually, even without without too much taste. It's still a plus for me because it's easier to smoke. So the ash looks great until I put it down and then it falls off. It is a white, nice white looking ash. Uh, just a tad of gray. It's actually really, really good. It also has a little bit of like sourness to it too. And it's not like a bad sourness. It's just like a closing end. So any citrus notes. Uh, uh, usually help enhance the flavor, and I think that's in here too. But that sourness usually uh, will disappear as the cigar heats up too. So it's one of those cigars that reminds you to slow down here and there, and I, I like that. You know, when you are smoking a cigar and then uh, without any notes that kind of remind you that you're smoking too fast or smoking smoking too slow, you tend to just continue to smoke without, and then eventually you'll. Your mouth is just gonna forget that you're actually tasting the cigar. You're actually chatting, and you're not tasting the cigar anymore. Something like this, it has like the note that will disappear because you're going too hot or uh, you're going too fast. That kind of reminds you, hey, uh, you're going too fast. Slow down. So uh, that's one thing I like about the cigar. Like if I smoke in the Connecticut, I don't even know how fast I'm smoking. I'm just going at it, and then in the end, it's like, hey, I'm done. So I'm, it's literally just muscle memory. I'm smoking, but I'm not tasting anything. Yeah, it's got that buttery taste, and and in the buttery taste, almost has a little hint of fruit. Very small. Like if you if you smoke it while it's cool, like it's relatively cool, you can get that little bit of fruity uh, uh, notes to it, and that's where that sourness came from. Uh, that little fruitiness to it really enhances. It's like, hey, you are at the sweet spot where everything burns right. You get the taste. If you smoke a little bit too fast, that fruitiness is gone. You taste more pepper, you taste more cedar, but that fruitiness goes away. The sourness goes away. So it's like, uh, you want to hit that sweet spot, you don't want to go too crazy at it. Very good. Now, for Jew Estate, I saw the Year of Rat came out. But I, I don't know where it sells it. I mean, uh... Ever since uh, I say I was buy, gotta buy less uh, Davidoff, I haven't been really actively looking for any cigar to buy because I was like, you know, I, I you know I can always just spend money on Casa Cuevas. I'll be happy this year. So, but then I saw the box and uh, uh, design for the year rat. So, if you know where to buy them, you let me know. Uh, send me a message or something like that. Let me know where I can get the year of rats for uh, for Jewel Estate. Because that's some cigar I will probably want to collect or smoke them. They're not that expensive either, so. <sighs> Little update on the vegan diet. You know, you guys know that I've been going on vegan diet. And, 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 you know, proud to tell you guys. 
I am the on, I am the probably only vegan out there that's do, doing true vegan, true vegan. All right. What do I mean by that? It means I only eat raw material, which means salad. I'm just biting salads. Okay. I'm eating salad uh, with some tomato or pico and um, with olive oil and salt and some apple cider vinegar. That's all I'm eating. All right. That's all I'm eating. Anything else that's processed bread, uh, like oats and stuff like that, I'm not eating. Why? Because uh, uh, I'd rather eat what regular animal will have eat, not bird food. <laughs> okay, those seeds and oats and stuff like that are like they're anti -car they're anti carb. They don't do anything for you, so I, I refuse to eat them. And 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 you know, I'm also trying to slim down. Why would you eat excess carb uh, to to slim down? Yeah, I mean Sherry will know exactly what I mean. To lose weight on her diet, on her uh, uh, Weight Watcher. They will reduce your carb. They will give you more protein, more vegetable, but no carb. Well, less carb, very little carb. That's how you gotta slim down. And especially when I'm trying to slim down, I'm not gonna load myself up with carbs. That's not a healthy way to live. And especially processed food. Processed food is worse than no food. <laughs> okay, processed food is worse than no food. I'm not gonna try to put myself in a sa in, in 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 a solid uh, no, in a vegetable diet that gets me into insulin. Uh, Insulin resistance. China is planning on changing it from year of the rat of to year of the Mexican beer. <laughs> well, hey, at least at least it's only coronavirus, not Dozaki's virus. Because you know, if if you get Dozaki virus, you'll be some serious flu. You don't always get flu, but when it comes to flu, it's the strongest flu. You know. So yeah, uh, that, I mean, I've been eating those. My skin has getting worse and worse. Uh, I woke up in the morning hungry, like I was hungry as hell. At nighttime when I sleep, I was hungry as hell. Uh, I lack of energy. Uh, my skin is dry. I'm getting pimples because of all the carb I'm eating. Um, what else? I'm moving slower. I type slower. Like I literally type a lot slower right now because of uh, the, the amount of lack of essential things. Um, the argument for vegans is that you gotta eat supplement right and if you if you gotta eat supplement on meat diet you could just go on a cleaner diet eat vegan and eat supplement but that argument is just retarded because if that's the case why don't you just eat supplement nothing else just eat supplement you now survive on supplement don't even don't even eat vegetables don't even eat vegetables then you'll be fine no that's not the case but yeah today i'm not gonna argue about vegan it is what it is i'm just gonna finish eating until next week and i can eat a big fat Big fat boned tomahawk steak. All right, that's what I'm gonna eat. A big fat gigantic tomahawk steak. I'm gonna eat that steak so hard. I'm gonna eat it twice. Okay, that's the plan. I, I'm like every day. I'm just staring at steaks. It's like mm, steak, 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 steak. Steak. You know. I, I can just eat meat <laughs> when when it happens. Like I'm just gonna go eat meat. Um, so as, aside from salad, I do eat a little bit of uh, uh, now my brain isn't working as well either. Uh, guacamole. So I, I took a little bit of guacamole because you know it has more flavor. It has a little bit of oil in there. You need oil. Uh, you need fat. So guacamole helps. <clears throat> I don't, well, it depends what you consider a drug. Tylenol is drug, Avil is drug, uh, flu medicine is drug. Vitamins are drug. They're all regulated. So, that's drugs, okay? There's a, there's a broad line of uh, uh, definitions when it comes to drugs, so. I'm about to smoke my last one of the day. So, why are you smoking, Ron? Why are you smoking, Rob? <clears throat> okay, so the effect on diet um, and my smoking habit, I can tell you that uh, I do feel the cigar a lot easier now. Like, I feel the cigar a lot easier. Wouldn't be, wouldn't the second time be more like drinking it? What do you mean by second time be more like drinking it?
Oh no, that's not what I mean. Eat it twice probably means I have to go get another steak. <laughs> yeah, don't 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 gross me out. <laughs> I'm looking forward to my steak. I don't want to gross out. Oh yeah, I got this question today, and because I got this question today, I gotta I gotta tell the the members of this. Okay, you cannot change your OG numbers. Okay, it it just kind of defeats the point if you can just swap to, swap to whatever you want and 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 change the number whenever you feel convenient. No, OG number means that's just your number. You have be part of the the the, the legion that you deserve a lineup. But then, because you're in the lineup, doesn't mean you can change the number because somebody else retired their numbers. Okay, you cannot change your number. Period. If I could change the number, first thing I would do is I would get Chapin's number and change to something else. Okay, the point is not to change them. That's why one of the biggest mistake of Shadow Smokers Legion uh, history is to give the number sixty nine to Chapin. OG numbers for life. That is the biggest mistake. <sighs> biggest mistake. Yeah. So on the on the vegan diet, I do feel the nicotine more. Uh, even this can give me a little like I can feel a little bit. And I think it's because I don't eat enough, right? Because uh, you know you have to eat a lot, and I I, I only eat. A bottle of salad because after that I get sick of eating it's like ah that's it okay here you go moving on right and I know people eat like tofu uh, tofu with sauce and all that stuff if you just gotta load up your entire meal with sugar and and carb there's no point like you know then I just might as well chow down bread you know <laughs> the bread I, I you know get a get a get a raisin bread or something like that you know <laughs> the point is it's not to Oh, you better not have 69 because I'm pretty sure I sent out the correct coin. Like, you know, don't don't mess me over. I have a few more coins, though. Uh, I do have a few more coins. Uh, my, you know, I just got to hold out to those coins until the end of time, I guess, because uh, nobody else needs those coins, which is usually the problem when it comes to a, a legion of photo people that only half is active. <laughs> That's usually the case. Why will 68 be worse? I would think 30, uh, well, that's a reverse 3. I would, uh, you know, I, I wouldn't think 68 is bad. You know, 69 is already bad. Alright, enjoy your dinner, Tim. Uh, so, because of uh, the Bob the Cigar Guy, Studio 2.0, Herb is being cancelled. No, no, no. My first wasn't a mistake. I, I'm okay with you being here so I can keep a good eye on you, you know, so that you don't go and ruin the world. <laughs> uh, I don't know that will work. I don't know. But anyways, so... You know, because that's canceled, I'm going to schedule a time to go to New York. So if uh, we might still have a, a trip to New York um, on March. So uh, region uh, for Maine, New Jersey, you know, area people, keep an eye on it. We can go have another herb, small herb, uh, smoke a cigar. Uh, it doesn't have to be in, in Davidoff. This time we might change a place, uh, change a pace kind of thing. So keep an eye on that one. What else can we talk about today? Um, there is one meme out there that my wife keep want me to do. It's a, a, a square meme with four different pictures, and one says like Facebook, Twitter, uh, uh, what's the other two? Instagram and uh, just the dating app, whatever. And it have four different pictures. At first, I didn't even understand that. Uh, 
You guys smoking now? No one is stopping you. <laughs> and, and at first I didn't get it. I thought it was like you know, if you put your picture in there, it looks a certain way. But it turns out to like what people put in their pictures for different pictures. And and my wife asked me to do one. And I said I would do one, but then it wouldn't be fun because I would put the same picture on all four. I'm not like the type of person that edit my picture and stuff like that. You only see me. Yeah, you know, I just. It is what it is. All four look the same. I'm getting cranberry, cran cranberry from this Hoya and the Nicaragua. Huh? That's interesting. It shouldn't. That That's interesting. That's different. Cranberry. So it's a sweet kind of raisiny. I don't get tender. Uh, when it comes to tender, it's something that I don't get. Now, tender is a dating app, right? But what I see on it, like based on what people tell me, it's not a dating app. It's a sex app. All right, people are looking for booty calls. People are not looking for long-term relationship on Tinder. Cause if you're just judging the people by their look, you're not looking for long-term relationship. If you're just judging people by their look, huh? swipe left, swipe left, swipe left. Oh, pretty one, you know. So I, I really don't think that that people are looking to have a long-term relationship on that app. Like, why would anybody does that? If you want a real, actual relationship, be out there and date. Go out there. Have some conversation with them. Have some coffee. Right? Learn about their weird things. Like, not just say, hey, your picture look good. Let's get together. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't understand that app other than the... Uh, uh, people try to try to just get together I mean literally I have a friend that's quite aged and she she's 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 looking for a lifetime mate to to get married because she's you know late 30s uh, and, and and she's on that app and literally uh, she was talking about one day she's like oh, I, I saw somebody message me and and first first at first the conversation is great until one day he comes up and say, uh, "Yeah, you. I like you and everything. You look great, and everything except you're too tall for me. So yeah, it's not you, it's me." And I'll go, "Huh? <clears throat> When's the last time somebody complained about a tall girl with long legs? <laughs> okay, so you know you can tell this person is just trying to get away." <laughs> <laughs> like really seriously, would you guys complain about uh, uh, <coughs> a lady with long legs? I mean, you can't really have long legs if you're like five three, you know. Uh, but like judging a person by their height, long legs, I don't know. You know, so that that app just pretty much. <coughs> ah. Pretty much, that pepper got my throat. Itches. It's not an app to, to, you know... Basically, I hear a lot of story about people dating in bars and stuff like that. And then complain about the people they find. Uh, it's not who they thought it is. And I just tell them, they say, hey... You're going to a bar looking for other people who cannot get a regular day and had to go to a bar too? What kind of people are you expecting? You know, they, you're probably looking for some people just like you who's looking for some people that's better, who does not go to a bar. I have no problem with uh, with the woman that's taller than me. I'm five eight, and this that's like average Asian height, and everybody else is taller than me. <laughs> okay, everybody else is taller than me. I look like a midget right next to a lot of uh, European women, so. I have no problem with that. Oh, good thing my wife is shorter than me, so that's a good thing. But do I have a problem dating a, a, a tall woman? No, never, never was an issue. Never was an issue. I like tall women. I feel safe. <laughs> you tried to hook up a woman that's taller than you. Didn't work. If it didn't work, it wasn't her. It was you. <laughs> okay. I don't know. The, 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 I mean, it's physical. You know, when you try to date somebody, it's not all physical. It's, 
is what's inside, right? It's、uh, the personality. Is you know, if you date the wrong person, that person might go to a cigar shop and shoot up a place and then shoot herself. You don't want that, all right? You don't want that. You do not want your wife go crazy, go to cigar shop, shoot up everybody, burn the place down, and shoot herself. That's not what you want, right? You want us. You want to understand, lady, that goes, ah,、oh, honey, you went to a cigar shop today. Oh, did you actually?、Uh, you know, there's、uh, another hundred bucks in the jar. Make sure to take that with you. That's the wife you want, okay? That's the wife you want. When you say, "Honey, I'm going to the lounge," and she goes, "There's another hundred bucks in the、uh, in in the jar. Make sure to take that with you, so that I have some pocket change to buy extra cigars." That's the wife you want. Now, that that kind of wife probably don't exist in real life, but I'm saying that's it's all it's personality, right? <laughs> hey, it has to do with you know. It, did she do her hair today? You know, if she uh uh did 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 her hair in the morning, she might be five six. <laughs> if you kept getting taught told to look up, my eyes are looking、uh, up here. It's because you're too tall. When you're short, you can only look up. See, when you're short, it can only look up, and there's plenty of things to look up to. So having a tall woman is nice. <laughs> so yeah, as we know, this year's IBCPI is gonna be junk, pretty much, because the majority of the big heads are not going. Uh, the TPEs,、uh, they're still going, but you know, it's still. I think TPE is still just manufacturers, right? So that doesn't really relate to us.、Uh, in terms of、uh, cigar industry changes, I don't see a much change,、uh, other than not many new stuff is being released, which is okay. Which is okay. I mean, usually they release、uh, doing doing IPCPR and, and TPE anyways. So I'm not really too worried about you know what new stuff is coming out, what old stuff is staying. Uh, I I really think that whatever that we're smoking right now, and now you already like,、uh, it's not going away, right?、Uh, because it's not going away. I think we'll live, we'll live. It's not that big a crazy deal. When you're on short, you can look, you can look straight ahead. But that's the thing. When you look straight ahead, everything below straight is like you're looking at something else. But if you're short, everything is up. Okay, so. They're like my eyes up here. Yeah, I'm looking up. I'm I'm looking up. You know. Travis must be one lucky man. Why do you say that? Because you're the you're the kind that says, "Honey, buy more cigar back." Okay, see, there's a prerequisite for that particular sentence too. Like, "Honey, there's a hundred dollars. Take it, go with you to the lounge, bring more cigar back." But there is another part of that is the wife must not steal their husband's cigars too. <laughs> <laughs> Having a wife that can share your hobby,、uh, share your interests is actually a really good thing. It's hard to find. It's hard to find. You know, people are all different. So for Travis to be able to find a wife that also smokes, will enjoy smoking, will enjoy being around、uh, people who smoke, is a plus. It's definitely a plus. But Expense doubles, okay. Expense doubles. But here's the thing, like you know, if I ask, being able to buy cigars but expense doubles, or not being able to do that and expense don't double, you know. <laughs> the last third is really getting like really flavorful. It's really. The fruitiness that I talk about is there. The butteriness is there.、Uh, the the cedar is there. 
I mean, tell me if I'm wrong, because I definitely taste some fruitiness at the end of this, like near this part. Right now, I do taste a little bit of fruitiness. It's a little bit sweet. Yeah, I mean, that's already a plus. That's already a plus, you know? It's just like the same way, you know, guys are kind of uh, obligated to enjoy what their wife enjoys. The wife enjoys what guys enjoys. It's actually a nice thing. You know, my wife, uh, she's pretty loose about everything I do because she knows that, uh, you know, guys need to what do what guys does. And that's not being sexist. I just feel like, you know, there are things that guys do and there are things that girls do. And, and that had to be separated clearly. It's not being sexist. I mean, just being sexist is like saying, you know, It's like a woman saying, I can wear a skirt, you should wear a two kind of thing. You know, it's not. I actually got my wife to try coffee-infused steak the other day. She actually liked it and agreed to do a lunch with me. Uh, someday, I was shocked. Now, hey, Chaper, it doesn't count if you're holding your shotgun and ask her to try one, okay? <laughs> uh, it, it triples because wife always smoke your good stuff. <laughs> I, I, I actually don't like infused cigars. I mean, I started out infused cigars. And now I just pretty much don't even smoke any infused cigars because I, I really just enjoy the real taste of cigar. You know, just like if I got to go vegan, I enjoy eating leaves, not processed, food. not processed food. leaves. Leaves. Um. Chape and the fat bottom Betty that my wife smoked horrible, but she liked it. Yeah, I mean there there is there is well that's the thing about the industry, right? I mean they make some things because somebody preferred those. And and you know, long term smokers might might not re, might not prefer those, but there are some people that just re, prefer to have those flavor once in a while, here and there. You know, uh, I know Bob the Cigar Guy and Chief actually prefers, you know, a Kentucky Fire Cure. And those are somewhat infused. I'll consider those infused because they taste like, they taste like barbecue wood chips. So, you know, they, they, they're slightly different and, and not like the original flavor from uh, the cigar itself. But the, it, just because of that, it doesn't mean that cigar is bad. It's just that something that we don't like. Um, for example, I don't like infused cigar now, but I used to like it. So I can understand why they like it because it's just instant gratification for flavor. You know, it's just not what I like. You guys all know I don't like any good cars, so it's just not what I like. But good cars sell just as fine. You know, they make plenty of money. They do crazy amount of advertisement because they're money. I get Bob a lot of credit. He likes everything, even acid. I actually think that he likes acid more than anything else. To be honest with you, he likes acid more than any other uh, uh, other other cigar. To be really honest with you, so you know, like I say, some people like the instant gratification of flavor, infuse of flavor, right there, right now, and uh, and 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 there is a serious consistency when it comes to re, uh, 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 infused cigars. When you smoke an infused cigar, it always tastes the same. <clears throat> okay. When you smoke a regular cigar, sometimes you gotta get a bad one, right? Sometimes you gotta get a bad one because it is blended uh, by human. You know, sometimes uh, it's more peppery, sometimes it's not. Uh, sometimes it's just kind of blend for some reason. But infused cigar, they're so infused that it's always gonna taste the same. I smoked that swan thing the other day. That thing was amazing, smoke and sweet grass. I'm not sure which cigar you're talking about, but sure. 
Acid 20 wasn't terrible, but I've never spent money for it. Came in a cigar of the month box. Okay. Yeah, but that's the thing though. When it comes to subscri subscription boxes, they're nice for people who doesn't buy a lot of cigars, uh, people who doesn't buy boxes, boxes of cigars, and it's just not for me because you, I'm gonna get more cigars that I don't like to smoke more than the cigar I'm gonna smoke. So uh, that that is the problem for me. That's why I don't do it. But for beginners, for people who doesn't buy a lot of cigars, it's perfect. It's perfect. They give you just enough cigar to enjoy here and there. Uh, I don't think three or five cigars is enough for a month, but. You know, it's something to try. It's something to do. I mean, you can buy additionals if you want. And if you find some cigars you like, perfect. Uh, if you like me, who find a cigar that he likes and just buy boxes, boxes of those, then it's definitely not for you because you gotta end up like if you know what you like, you gotta end up with a lot of cigars that you don't like. For 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 one, I don't smoke lenceros. Like I, I will find any reason to not buy lenceros. <laughs> okay, but then I will end up getting lenceros in in the box and and. Uh, in my opinion, that boxes you are paying a little bit more premium per cigar uh, because they had to do packaging, they had to do paperwork, they had to send it to you, and all that stuff. So you are paying a little bit premium for them. But if you buy boxes of cigars, that's why it's not it's gonna it's not gonna be good for you because if you buy boxes of cigar, even if it's not online, you're getting discount for box discounts. You go to any cigar shop, if you buy a box of cigar, usually you get a, a box discount. You're not gonna get box discount from those monthly subscription stuff because um, there's a lot into it. There's packaging, there's there's work to put into together. Uh, uh, there there is paperwork. There's other stuff they put in there, try to make it feel like it's worth it. But you're paying paying a premium for it. Uh, it. Definitely doesn't work for people that collects a lot of cigars to start with. But once in a while, they do find cigars that you can't find them anymore dead stock or leftovers and stuff like that they're, they're gonna find it for you so if that's what you're looking for yeah once in a while you get you get gold in the box right but uh i think majority of the time you know I've, I've i've tested for you guys i did it for like what six seven boxes of those and only three three cigars out of the six boxes i was smoke so that just tells you how much it's not worth it to me but for some people it would 601 Limitada. So at least I got the right manufacturer. <laughs> That's not the same manufacturer. I think 601 is what? It's Espinosa, no? I think 601 is, is part of Espinosa, not Casa Cuevas. <laughs> Now, when it comes to Espinosa, this is the one that I think we uh, I, I do recommend people to smoke because this thing does have a citrusy taste, almost orange taste. It's, it fits a bend, obviously, but it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I, I actually, I was surprised to taste citrus when I smoked this one uh, when I was in uh, Arizona. So this thing is pretty cool. And I mean, the color is great. The, the, the presentation is great. But yeah, you guys all know, I don't like Foot bands that just like a thing, you know. I, 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 you know, put some effort into designing them. That don't just put a band on there, you know. If you gotta, if you can design something, pay, pay some effort. You know, I'm not gonna lie. Our, our band design, even without a foot band, is already beautiful. Okay, that's why we don't have foot band. Uh, La Granja Australia is legit too. Yes. I found the Espinosa General Cigar. Gotta go grab it. Close but no cigar. Do you guys know what that came from? Close but no cigar is uh, it's actually came from one of those uh, uh, town fairs and stuff like that. But you, you used to play those town games. You know, you pay them a dollar or something like that and you toss a ball, that kind of stuff. They used to give you cigars. The cigar was that, that cheap back in the days. They used to give you cigars. So if you win the prize, it's a cigar. And then if you didn't win it, they say close but no cigar. That's where, that's where it came from. That's where it came from. But now they give you like beer that costs 50 cents. Literally. If you look at the price that they buy from those fair... Uh, you know, prizes uh, for you to toss rings and stuff like that. They are like 50 something cents for that gigantic bear. I'm not even kidding.
I'm not even kidding. It's just like no matter how they do it, you lose. All right, even if you win every single time, you lose. Especially they have those that now that you can first win, you get a tiny one, and then if you win a few more, you can trade your tiny one for a medium one, and you win a few more, you trade your medium one for a large one, and turns out the large one costs as much as the small one. <laughs> Probably had to add a little bit more fire to this. I smoked too slow on it. So, uh, in terms of schedule, I think um, right now there's not much to announce. We're doing everything as quick as we can. I mean, it took me a while to recover from uh, my illness. Um, <clears throat> Hopefully it doesn't get worse again. Like you know, usually when you get sick, you you recover, right? But there are times where you get sick, you recover, you go back, you recover, you go back. I I just don't want one of those. I might even have to cancel my trip to China. Either that, or I had to go really really quick and back really really quick. So I don't know which one I'm gonna do that. Uh, at least it's a great Maduro. I got I am on mission to find some of the older brands that are still around just to collect. JC Newman has a lot, a lot. I don't think I smoke. I still have not smoked the JC Newman America. All right, that cigar is expensive, so I haven't smoked that yet. Uh, I haven't found any store around here either. I think so, and I still haven't smoked the real, the real, uh, the 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 Papa Van Winkle that everybody was smoking. I haven't smoked that yet. Many used to play those games for self, for themselves. Now you only play to impress, which is also actually be a selfish reason. Well, those all those games are flawed. They're they're like, you know, they 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 all scamming your money. So if you know the in, in, insider information on how to beat those games, yeah, you'll win all the time. So, oh yeah, because um. Here's the thing, when you are coughing at night, you're actually not coughing because <clears throat> your throat itches. It's because post-nasal drip. Uh, your your throat is already inflamed, and your nose drains the the water at night when you're sleeping sideways. So it drains, and those water just touches that lining and irritates your throat. That's why you're, you're coughing. So if you sit straight, the draining doesn't it goes through easier. It doesn't, it doesn't touch that lining as much, so you cough less. I have one in my humidor, America. It was gifted to me. Yeah, um, yeah you should definitely smoke that. <laughs> you should definitely smoke that. <sighs> I want to look into some of those old signs that says five cent cigars for my future lounge. What? Yeah, that would be pretty cool if you can find those. They used to play for a cigar, now they play to get laid. Which one is better? That's not true. That is not true. That is not true. That is not true. I mean, how many of you got, how many of you got laid because you played that game? No, 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 no. That is not true. That is not true. That is not true. I, I, you know, when I was dating, uh, late high, mid high school or late high school times. Cause they they run the event uh, they run those fair right at my high school backyard. I never got laid for winning, and uh, my wife still have those uh, dolls in uh, in in the in the basement of her mom's house. So I never got laid for 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 those. Okay. In fact, I spent a lot of money. I think you're more likely to get laid if you take them to a nice dinner. <laughs> All right. You you literally had to take them to a nice dinner, you know. If you gotta lay someone, at least take them to dinner. That is not true. I I know you can never get laid for that. In fact, nowadays you gotta get laid, tender. <laughs> do tender, become vegan, do tender, and uh, have a puppy. 
It's the num. It's the three way to get late quick. Uh, I don't need to play a game to get laid. It's all charm. Exactly. I agree. I agree. You know, or or you know, you can do what I do later on in life. Is uh, oops. Oh, a stack of money just fell out of my pocket. <laughs> Let's go have a dinner. <laughs> stack of money just fell out of my pocket. Oops. I'm sorry. Uh, that stack of hundreds on my actually. Ah, uh, here we go. Yeah. Uh, I don't know you, but would you like to go to dinner? That will get you late every time. <laughs> it's all that luscious beer. <laughs> shadow gaze, yeah, I just, you know, Michael just had to go out there, shadow gaze, and the woman just falls. <laughs> you know, it'll be a winter day. And, and you know, Michael's girl just walks into the house, and he's smoking with the with the shadow gaze. Go look over her, and then she goes ah, and then she's like, I can't go home. If I go home outside snowing, I get pneumonia. I I'll stay here. It's out. It's, that's for, for sure. Japan actually did a statistic. Uh, if you're on the street, uh, obviously you want to be in the large street. So uh, in Shibuya, which is large, largest crossing, if you stay in front of the train station and ask 100 women to go home and just sleep with you, every 100 will find one, according to their statistic. Given that you can afford to go to the hotel and everything else, so. Uh, if it really is about five one hundred, I think one hundred dollar bill is actually slightly different size than the dollar bill. <laughs> but I know it works. You know why? Because I know one of my Asian friend uh, has done that in China. It works. Okay, like we literally uh, were eating outside, and he said, "Check this out." He went to a woman, a random woman. She's pretty. She's pretty. She's walking around, and literally, he went in front of her and just dropped his money—a stack of hundreds, uh, Chinese hundred dollar, uh, Chinese hundred hundred yuan is about what? Uh, not a lot. It's not a lot. It's like what ten, fifteen bucks, something like that. Divided by six. Yeah, Sixteen bucks. It's not a lot. So it's a stack of hundreds this thick. All right, about this thick. It's about. It's about this thick. All right, maybe a little bit less than this, but it's this thick and just dropped it to the ground. All right, dropped it to the ground and he picked it up. He picked it up. Put it back in his pocket. And just right next to the girl, and and he says, "Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I dropped my money by accident." And obviously, that's so cliche. You know what she's thinking, right? And the girl saw it, and then she just pretend that she didn't care. She didn't pretend. She pretend that oh, whatever. And he just like, you know what? I don't want to get robbed, but to shut you up, can I take you out to eat something? And she just went with him. And and. Uh, how do I know that in something ended up happening is because the next morning she's still with him. Okay, so we know what happened. How does Tony knows the dollar is smaller? He only had one hundred in his wallet. In fact, I don't have the I don't have one hundred in my wallet. I don't even bring cash. I don't even bring cash, okay? A majority of the places won't take that much cash. I don't even bring cash. I get, I just bring my card, okay? I always just bring my card. I don't bring cash. You know, last thing, I want to bring peace and harmony to this world. I do not want to put my situ myself into a situation where I had to go Bruce Lee on some assholes. <laughs> Open up my water, you know? No. See, I'm nice. 
I I don't. Okay, I don't go Bruce Lee on people. I'm nice. Imagine if I go out there. I imagine the situation. I was out there, and then uh, a random person tried to rob me. All right, and I and I say, hey, here's a wallet. I toss him the wallet, and then he catches the wallet, and I go, and he goes, what, what? And I'm like, don't mess with me. I'm a vegan. <laughs> you think he's gonna drop his the the wallet and run? Don't mess with me. I'm a vegan. Doesn't happen, you know. Doesn't happen. I honestly don't think they're the same size. I honestly don't think they're the same size. I don't think they're the same size. Hold on, hold on a second. Okay, dollar and fifty are the same size. Dollar and two are the same size. Uh, I don't have a dollar to check, okay? But I will, I will, I will check it next time. I'll check it next time because I know uh, in the foreign currencies they're not the same size. For currency, they're not the same size. I don't have dollars. Like, I, I literally don't have dollars here to check. I don't have dollars to check. All right, fine. They're the same size. But I think I think the uh, uh, Chinese money and Japanese money they're not the same size. They're actually more square here and there. So, but I don't bring cash out, so I don't know. U.S. money is the same. They teach blind people to fold them differently so they can tell. But what if somebody unfolded? If somebody unfolded, then. You know, then you wouldn't be able to tell. Because <laughs> in other countries, size really matters. Well, 100 yen is one coin, so they're not that big. Indian ruby is different size. Yeah, Japanese yen is different size. Chinese yuan is different size. Taiwanese uh, yuan is different size. Uh, uh, Korean won is different size too, so. They're all different sizes. The only two countries that will bring cash around is literally China and uh, in Japan. That's the only two countries that I bring cash around. So I got tips on driver at work. Only reason I have cash. I, I don't carry cash. Those money, they, they are like my wife's shoot money. <laughs> so, uh, they could still get rip off. That's why it's a level. Yeah, like a lot of time, uh, I just questions. Number one, how do people handle their their finances as blind people? Because they really don't know how much money they make that day, right? So. I had to remember to get cash when I'm on vacation so I can tip like a baller. Uh, Asia, you don't tip. <laughs> uh, in Japan, we don't tip. Uh, to tip them is an insult. And they can very likely lose their job if they take your money. So. In fact, you got to hate this. When I stay in America in hotels, I don't tip. But then again, I never allow them to come and clean the room either. Alright, so 
uh, you will never see like if I go stay in a hotel for three days there's there will be three days no closing services no people coming in not even to to refold my my pillows I don't let them come in so So Tony spending money goes to cigars. She's just spending money goes to shoes. That's not true. <laughs> I have more shoes than my wife. I have at least three times more shoes than my wife. And my my wife is not. She doesn't have shoes. Uh, her shoes are significantly more expensive. Her shoes, each shoes are like in the thousands. And my shoes are in the hundreds. So, you know, she have less shoes. But I, I do have three times more shoes than her. Uh, 500 euro is the is the wrong Jeremy of euros. I I don't understand that. What does that mean? We try to spend everything digital, uh, just because it's safe. Right? If we ever got robbed, I just say just toss them in your wallet and run. I do because they pay them as they are going to get tip, but I hate the whole tipping system is antiquated yeah I, I i actually believe it uh i think that the whole system of tipping became mandatory and that's not a good thing i think tipping should be something like if they deserve it uh if they did a extraordinary work to 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 deserve the tipping right now the tipping system is more like it's mandatory if you go to a restaurant and didn't tip and walk out be, because you feel like you receive a bad service they chase all the way out to the door and ask why didn't you tip you know, it's as if it's it's mandatory. And even if you say, "Hey, I didn't tip you because you provided me bad service," the next time you go, they gotta provide even worse service and put some extra stuff in your food. So it, it became something mandatory, and it's not like I couldn't understand because that's how they make the livelihood, right? Most restaurants don't pay their employees; they they expect them to make uh, make the tips. But mandatory? That's just not. I don't like to be forced into do something. You know. Women's are like that won't fit in my wallet. <laughs> yeah, my shoes are usually not in the sixty dollar range. My shoes are usually in the two hundred dollar range. I have a few pairs that's in the eight hundred dollar range. I have a few pairs that's in the thousand dollar range, and that's pretty much it. I don't think I have any shoes that's more than twelve hundred dollar for myself. But my wife does. My wife has high heels that's like eighteen hundred dollars, three thousand dollars, that kind of stuff. Chucks and vans are always in rotation. I mean, it's easy to spend high price on on shoes uh, because oh, Alan Almond is one dressy shoes company that I would recommend to anybody. Okay, like no lie, I actually own probably six pairs of Alan Almond, and they all last pretty much forever. Right, Alan Almond is one one that you can wear forever and every time it's like pretty much done you send it back to them and they'll send it back to you even better than you brand buying brand new I'm, I'm not even kidding if you buy a pair of Allen Almond shoes you wear it in and you wear it to like destroy it and then you send it to them for repair when they send it back to you it's better than buying a new one because it's broken in all right it's broken in it's comfortable it fits just right and it works like new it works like new so there is quality shoes it's quality shoes I can tell you that for sure every single Allen Edmonds that I own still I still wear them so it's been like five six years I still wear them some of them are longer than that that reminds me I have to get another pair of sneaker I wear out so fast uh, a good way to wear sneakers is to have multiple pairs of sneakers rotate them if you rotate them they'll last a lot longer if you wear the same pair of shoes all the time you wear them out uh, if you if you wear them in rotation they last way longer so now you know shoes when it comes to shoes I am amazing when it comes to shoes uh, because I work in the shoe industry for a little bit too and and I'm and um, even on a company for a, for a little a short while so I know a lot about shoes when it comes to shoes having multiple pairs to rotate them is the best way to do it but you gotta wear your shoe in so when you buy new shoes wear it more often uh, until it's wear in then you start rotate with other shoes I wear work boots occasion I, I, I wear sneakers you gotta rotate your shoes 
they last much longer. Yes, exactly what I say. Uh, I brought my girlfriend a four hundred dollar pair of sneaker, and she killed in three months. Now he gets discount. She, <laughs> where else? Yeah, Edmunds Bonham, best shoe company ever, and they refurbish your shoes. I think fixing your shoes is the best way to to wear your leather shoes because they have so much more life to it. But it's just usually the bottom wears out, and then just when the top wear then. So, hey, Alia. So it's really it's a big difference. If you rotate your shoes, it will last a lot longer. Speak of sneakers, how was the one? How was the comfort on the ones I bought? That depends which pair. Which pair are we talking about? Are we are we talking about the? Uh, <clears throat> what is the latest one I purchased? The latest one I purchased is probably the automatic one, right? Uh, the Adapt BB. That's actually very comfortable. Uh, it's actually very comfortable. But you can't wear it in the cold weather because it's mashed. So the air, cold air goes in. So you wear that shoes out in the cold weather, your foot is gonna freeze. I used to manage a few couple uh, athletic shoe stores. That's when I get really got to shoes. I love the old school style Adidas, K Swiss, Puma. Puma shoes is one that I can't stand because it's too narrow and it never feels good for me. Adidas, uh, <clears throat> Adidas All Stars are somewhat comfortable. The rest of them, uh, you know, they are more like soccer lifestyle driven. They're not that comfortable to me. K Swiss, I don't wear them. Yeah, that's that's what we're talking about. So yeah, it's because it's mashed, so the air goes in, and when you wear in the cold day, you gotta freeze your foot. I and I use nice cedar shoe tree. Okay, it's very important. If you buy nice pair of dressy shoes, always, 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 always get a shoe tree. Okay, cedar shoe tree very important because you actually get rid of the bad smells because it's leather. It does smell something, and cedar wood trees actually uh, make sure that you don't get fungus on your foot when you wear it because it it kind of absorbs some moisture that's in there when you wear it. When you wear it, your your body gives off heat and sweat, and the cedar wood uh, a cedar wood shoe tree actually get rid get rid of that. Okay, so. If you can buy like fifty-five thousand shoe trees in the house and then just use them for every shoes because it may keep your shoe much much longer. Tough shoes. Take a look. Oh, these they are like uh, they are like boots. Now, see, I don't wear any high rises. So, uh, if you if you if you ask me about high rises, I don't wear high rises because I don't like anything on my ankle. Uh, I actually I just don't like the way it rubs the back of the ankle and the and the side of the ankle. So I don't wear those things. But uh, if you gotta wear boots, I recommend you wear leather boots, not like you know, wool and stuff like that. So, uh, like I say, if you want to find a decent pair of boots. Go try Alan Almonds. You'll be you'll be surprised. And their their company does a lot of good stuff. So, uh, they they make sure that you're handled well. I had a guy that tell me once that he had a pair of dress shoes for every week. That uh, he said the leather has to dry from day to day. Is correct. That is true. Hence why I have six pairs of Alan Almonds because I have to change them every time I wear. Uh, so when I travel, I had to bring all, all the shoes with me. Um, obviously, one uh, one for each occasion, but you know you need to let your shoe rest, and that also keeps the the sole better because it gives time to kind of plump back up. Like you know, the more you wear, the more flat it gets. But if you give a chance to plump back up, you you'll keep your shoes much longer. You don't have to buy the Dr. Shores, you know that kind of stuff to to keep your shoe uh, in good condition. So. Uh, Boots I always buy leather. Sneakers don't always have to be leather, but you know, I can tell you that leather shoes is always gonna last longer than cloth shoes. Cloth shoes, um, unless you're buying Converse, those shoes are made to abuse. But uh, most of the time, if you like buy boots, cowboy boots and stuff like that, make sure you buy good quality. Don't save a couple bucks to buy a company that you don't know of. So.
you have six pair rotate you could potentially never buy shoes again potentially potentially but i still buy them i still buy them uh obviously i have six pair of those shoes i have a few pair of uh, uh, uh what's that called shoe uh Ferragamo shoes uh, dressy shoes so uh, they're, they're pricey but they fit when i dress up you know I, I you guys never see me really dress up but when i dress up i dress up you know so so when i dress up i tend to wear fancy shoes and stuff if not i just wear regular sneakers and i also have a few pairs of um, kohans which they are kind of sneaker dressy shoes uh which i wear quite a bit too and those are more comfortable when i uh, let's say hang out in New York. I want to be half dressy, but not too much dressy. Then that's what I wear because there are times where you're too dressy out <laughs> You're too dressy going to certain places like you wouldn't want to go to Wuhan dressing suits, okay? But shoes are very important and, and, and that's why I always tell people don't b just buy one shoes and beat it until it dies If you just buy one pair of shoes and beat it until it dies, it will last you months uh, Maybe a year or two all right, but if you buy multiple you to rotate, they might last you tens of years. Black patent leather shoes for the talks. Uh, things about black patent leather shoes. Patent leather usually uh, will crack. Okay, so patent leather takes more, uh, more care. Uh, patent leather are usually like top. Uh, they are not top leather. They are bonded leather. So you, you got to be very careful about that. Patent leather does break a lot easier. Alright, so I'm at the end of this uh, uh, cigar. I'm not going to continue to light this one because there's nothing left. I'm not going to knob it. Uh, as you guys know, I don't like to knob my cigar because I think that the last little bit usually is more sud, which I can cut it open to show you guys. This is the last little bit that you're smoking. It's really not good for you, in, in, in my opinion. So I don't knob my cigar as much. Oh, it's wet. See that? So the last little bit is all like not that good stuff for you. So I wouldn't I wouldn't try to smoke it. Uh, Occasionally, I'll smoke even shorter than this, but I just feel like, you know, for health reasons, I don't want to smoke that little last little bit of black. See that? You can see that this basically is your filter. So uh, you don't want to smoke your filter, in my opinion. I haven't had a reason to wear my patent leather shoes for years. Well, all my patent leather shoes are not fully patent leather, so I, I don't wear entire patent leather shoes. Um, my Jordans has patent leather, but just the front, just the toe part. So my trusty Davidoff. Let me have some different vegan drink. Vegan drink. Oh, in turn of this thing, okay. Um, that video said that if you are vegan, you get more boner when you're sleeping. I definitely monitored it. I did not get more boners. I didn't get any boner when sleeping. So yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's my vegan drink. I, I'm pretty sure this is vegan. Pretty sure this is vegan. It doesn't have natural flavor. Not two point oh contest getting heated already. Really? We have a not not two point oh contest right now. I didn't know that was going on right now. So much for being a leader in the group that doesn't know what's going on. Uh, let's see. I saw 
couple of knob pictures. I didn't know there was knob 2.0 going on right now. I see the 601 Maduro. Uh, Boa Chan was uh, smoking the Headless Horseman. Yeah, it's pointless. It's pointless. I don't know why they even do that test. Uh, let's see. Like Jim's already had. Uh, okay, Jim have his. Today I'm going to be sensible, behave myself. No, you didn't. <laughs> uh, da -da 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 -da. No, I don't. I. I don't see a, a knob 2.0. Skinny knob? No, 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 no. You mean the long lash challenge? The King, King Seros. King Sero. See, then Sero is even harder to get long lash, uh, long ash because they're so thin. They, there's no structure. So they actually fall off much easier. You know. This is something that I should be pulling from you guys. If Cigar Mechanic was to make a custom entry to the Cigar Mechanic brand uh, sampler, what do you guys think should be in that sampler? What cigar that he wrapped should be in that sampler? I think that's a that's a good good, good one to pull to see what you guys think that uh, if someone never smoked any cigar, none of the cigar that Cigar Mechanic wraps. What cigar that he should be putting into the sampler? I think that's a good question. My ex wife used to thank me in the morning. I'll be like, huh? Next level sleep. <laughs> ah! Gary, Gary, Gary. <clears throat> Very soon, I think Gary is working his way into the the bat trio. It has, it has to be bat quads very soon. Blue and green, okay. I agree with that one. Blue and green is pretty good. Well, something for Espinosa, but which one? Which one? They have quite a bit of cigars, so which one? Which one you think this should should be in there? Which one should be in there? Casa Cueva Reserva should definitely be in there. To be honest with you, but like you know, should uh, that will kind of increase the price quite a bit. Maybe a uh, Casa Cueva uh, Habano in there. I think that will do it. Comfortable nub, numb. Comfortable numb. <clears throat> First edition. I think that's like a like a certain store exclusive kind of thing. I don't know. Earth's Espinosa Habano. Uh, Espinosa Habano. Okay. I mean, uh, uh, the 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 cost comfortable knob is almost as hard to find as the psychedelic turtle. <laughs> that being said, I have to see if uh, they changed the website yet. Also, I think this is a as a good. Uh, questionnaire to you guys when it comes to ordering cigars will calling in to order a cigar be a deal breaker for you if there's two store one has a website one requires you to call in would you purposely avoid the one that you had to call in Casa Cueva Habano, Grand Habano, 
Blue and Green, Espinosa, Habano, 15-02, Nicaragua, and E.P. Carrero, and the Sereno Royal, Royal uh, Maduro. Okay, website. I'm fine with calling website. Okay. For me, it's the same thing. I hate calling in. I, I'm, I, I'll be okay with texting. Like, if I had to text somebody to get a cigar, I would. But uh, I, I would purposely avoid anything that I had to call in for. Like when I think I have to call in, I in my mind is like, you know what? I don't need that cigar that much. You know kind of thing. I'll probably prefer online ordering. Yeah. So yeah, online order is it. I mean, you know, hey. Any any store owner that's watching this right now, if you don't have a website, go make one. Okay, go make one. What if they have a website that should showcase whatever they have, but they have to call in? What if it's a website that showcases whatever they have, but they they don't have uh, online purchase? You have to call in. Would you still do that? Would you? Is that still okay with you? Luckily, I didn't have to call the guys daily. Majority of the uh, order that I had to replace, uh, I usually can just text, uh, and that that take care of it. So luckily, I don't have to do that. But you know, I don't mind to talk to uh, Allison. So, I mean, she 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 will get it done. I only call them if I have a problem. No, not you. Okay. So yeah, website to showcase alone is not enough. That, that reminds me, I should check this. When is the last time you guys checked TNT cigars? You know, I saw one episode of they coming back and that was it. There was no more coming back after that. I don't know what happened. I don't know, the website is still shit. The website is still crap. Website is still crap. That's too bad. Even if they have a website, you, you'll quite often find they don't always put the good stuff online. It's true. It's true. There's some cigars where they uh, they make you to have uh, to call in or purchase in store, uh, which I understand. I can understand that. If a website shows deals and I, ha and I have to call in, what, it'll be okay with me. When Tim left. I only found TNT just as the boy were leaving. I checked them once in a while. Okay, I looked at it. The website is still the same shit, you know. Uh, and I'm, I'm, it, I don't think it's overstating to say that their website is shit. <laughs> well, understating. I just don't. I, 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 they, I think they need a lot of work. They need a lot of work. <laughs> what? Come on. But yeah, I, I haven't seen their video, what well, new video anytime, like, you know, in the recent day. I, I probably put up more video than they do. <laughs> That's the problem, right? I did meet Jennifer, in, uh, you know, when I went there. She's a nice person. So it's not like that. They don't have the personality. I think it's just the structure of the show. It's kind of weird. I can have fun bothering with Tim online. Brad, not so much. I don't watch any, any video with Brad in it. So I can tell you that for sure. All right? and, and I know some people might feel offended, but I do not watch any video that has Brad in it. Whether or not it's uh, as a guest, as a co-host or whatever, if he's in there, I don't watch it. You know, I just I just feel like uh, even if the person I support is in the show, I wouldn't watch it because I don't want to indirectly to support the show. I don't want them to think that I will watch it because uh, that uh, Brad is there. So if any show Brad's in, I will not watch. Literally, almost if if Brad is somewhere, I probably won't go. Kind of thing, you know. It's 
uh, I'm a stubborn person. I, that that you know, Brendan's got that right. I'm a very stubborn person. I I will not. <clears throat> if I have judged a person, and the person has talked shit about my friends or my family or or any of you guys, I might stop watching them. Just I I just totally completely think this person doesn't exist to me, because I don't want to support a person that will talk shit about uh, their fans or my friends. All right, so that's that's something that I I can stand behind. I can stand behind. So if somebody talks shit about Matia Maya, yeah, never again. I probably watch. I probably won't watch their shows anymore. It's just personal. It's personal assumption. Like you know, if you can talk crap about this person, what makes me think that you're respect you you're a respectful person, you know? I didn't get a chance. I didn't get a chance. You know, I didn't get a chance. We didn't even drive around it. We literally didn't even go anywhere near it. So, I didn't get a chance. I didn't get a chance. So, besides, besides, um, I have better things to do. I have so much better things to do. You know, I think to Moon Brad, he had to pay me. Okay, my calendar sells very well. To, so to show my butt to 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 Brad, he had to pay me. He had to pay me. I'm sorry, just the way it is. You know, just like if you ask Cigar Vixen to go moon Brad, she will probably charge him too. We're way too busy. I mean, all the other sh shop I want to uh, go to, all the other 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 members I want to meet. Or why would I spend a few minutes to go over there to moon them? You know, like I say, I rather smoke a Gurkha than going to them. So <laughs> I rather smoke a Gurkha. You know, I rather smoke a marshmallow <laughs> than go into his store. So. We definitely had a blast in Arizona. It was great. It was great. Uh, again, I don't know if I can go to uh, Arizona anymore now that we can enjoy food together with uh, with the uh, uh, vegan mechanic. So <laughs> I might not go. <laughs> what? Did I blow it out just by accident? No, yeah, I, I I don't know. I don't know if I, I don't know. Uh, I I tried to think maybe I replaced the trip to to go to Philadelphia rather than, uh, rather than South Carolina because the schedule don't fit. But then uh, after thinking twice, I said like, you know it's too short time to for me to plan that kind of thing, so I didn't want to go with that. Embargo needs good online order in sight. I will bet that he has a lot. I like. It's true. My only problem with Embargo, not saying that guy is any bad, alright? The guy is pretty cool. He says whatever he does. Uh, very straight guy. But the speed that he's working on stuff made me don't want to work with him. You know, I'm, I'm a I'm a type of person that if I want to do something, I go do it right, right away and quickly. I want to get it done quickly. I don't want to drag it. And from our previous experience, shows that, you know, He's not taking this whole thing seriously or whatever. He's not paying too much attention uh, to get things done quickly. And then uh, in that case, I don't want to waste my time on it. So that, that's why I haven't mentioned about embargo lately because I didn't, I didn't want to use our va valuable time just to wait on something. You know, I like to get things done quickly, not, not, like, not like months later. But, you know, if you tell me that, hey, I, you'll need to take me a week to get this whole thing done so that you guys get the best deal and, and, and the cigars and everything in a week, that's totally fine. I understand that. You know, you have to take a week to get the order in and all that stuff. I understand that. But take a month, I still don't, you know, nah, it can't, I can't do that. Not saying that he's bad. He's perfectly fine, friendly person. Smoke with him is fine. Chatting, good. Uh, you know, straight up guy. So, but then I can't. It's not. It's not for me. I love vegan vegan food done right, but it's not me. And too many vegans are about the cult, not about the diet. I agree with that. Uh, again, there is no 
actual proof that being vegan will make you disease free. You'll still have disease. So that that portion of it is gone. Number two, vegan argues like you know destroy the the earth and agriculture and all that stuff. You can eat egg and and fish. That's not destroying anything. So that that defeats the purpose too. And also, fish does not inflame your uh, blood vessel just the way uh, beef was. So, you know, if you exclude beef, if all you do is not eat beef, that's totally fine. That's just like my mother-in-law. She does not eat any beef whatsoever. But she will eat everything else. Chicken, pork, fish, and, you know, Japanese people eat a lot of fish and pork. Totally fine. Totally fine. You know, so uh, being vegan, a, a little bit too extreme. Um, but if you want to be healthy, simply became uh, like a, you know, person that eats more vegetable than meat, then that's totally fine. It, uh, to say that you had to go absolutely nothing but plant based food and then and then go around to make all those processed food to make vegan things taste better that just defeats the point all the animals gonna die in a couple of uh, we enjoy eating them as long as they're there exactly uh, 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 there's, there's chemical fertilizer there is pesticides uh, and there is definitely some sort of growth hormone in there too to make the fruit bigger, right? You know, unless you get organic, they're all, 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 you know, they're technically even organic food are not organic anymore because they've been crossbreeded to look at like the food today. You know, if you see the banana back in the days when the, when the seeds are like this big, then yeah, you you wouldn't have wanted to eat that. So everything that you eat vegan is technically not vegan. It's not healthy. Healthy living, being healthy, being happy is the key to longevity. It really is. All right. To just live happy, to eat whatever you you, f- you feel that's healthy for you, make the healthy choices is the way to do it. Just happen to that. A lot of vegan, because they went vegan, they have more conscious health choices. Go to gym, go exercise, uh, eat healthier food, that kind of stuff, and drink less. For vegans, yeah, yeah it will improve your health overall. But if you're vegan and you're drinking all the time, yeah, drinking is vegan. And you're drinking all the time, eat processed food, shit all the bread, you know, eat 50 impossible burger a day, you're still gonna die, right? So, you know, vegan is not the answer to, to healthy living. Uh, healthy living, the, the, the only way to, to healthy living is to live healthily. What? I talked too much today. Because uh, beef is so heavy in protein, uh, the way it's prepared, the way the way the meat is is that the germ is only on the surface, and when you cook the beef, just cook the surface, all the germ is gone. It's just the way the beef is. Okay, so beef grows, the bacteria grows from the outside, and uh, for chicken and stuff like that, when they soak water, they have to soak in water solution because they go bad really quickly. They actually go from the inside out. So the bacteria go actually grows inside of the chicken meat or pork, and uh, pork is more of pit parasite than germs. But for beef, parasite doesn't grow in the beef because what they eat, and uh, also the bacteria grows on the surface. So when you sear your beef, even if it's completely raw, you can eat it. What is the health benefit of drinking whiskey in moderation? There's actually quite a bit. All right. Uh, drinking whiskey, well, number one, it has no carb. It has zero carb, all right? So if you're diabetic, you can still drink it. It just have ca- calories, all right? And it's de- distilled. So drinking it actually uh, relaxes your body. Uh, it actually uh, reduce in a moderate way, reduce your blood pressure a little bit because it's, it, it actually makes you colder. Uh, it drops your temperature, so you actually slow down your blood uh, a little bit. It makes you relax. It calms down. Uh, there are some study that uh, shows prevention of certain diseases but i wouldn't say drinking to get rid of uh disease i mean i i would not say that you are eating certain food because you want to prevent any disease that's that's the dumbest thing to to consider for your life okay do not ever use food source as a consideration to prevent a disease all right that you know you can you can never smoke in your life and still get cancer so don't use food source as as an excuse to prevent a disease okay so just the factor that it will relax you, just the factor that it will actually, uh, 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 you know, slow down your blood a little bit, reduce your pressure, the the, the stress from the rest of your body. That's already beneficial. So I think that you know, 
those beneficial alone is really good to say drinking responsibly moderately is good for you it's just like wine you know wine red wine or white wine uh does have uh iron content it's actually good for females uh but again don't use it for a, a in a way to prevent a disease no no food is going to prevent disease for you <clears throat> everything in moderation especially in moderation so yeah uh drinking just a little bit actually helps your body uh to get rid of you know stress hormones uh cortisol and that kind of stuff so actually it helps your body to relax just a little bit though uh, i mean two finger a day or three finger a day that's totally fine you know on the rocks it's fine right uh but if you're doing like five six cups a day that's not moderation a day, you know basically don't drink it like ash queen uh drinking brokers on a sports game <laughs> but everything else will be fine moderation moderation so uh even beer i i actually don't recommend people drinking beer that's one thing that definitely don't have enough alcohol benefits and it has a lot of carbs you know whatever people say human does live on carbs yes but carb is also the leading cause to insulin resistance and insulin resistance is pre-diabetic so insulin resistance is the reason why we became diabetic so uh carb th th there's no way i can back a full carb diet to be healthy I'm trying to get my C reactive protein levels down. All right? If your body is overstressed and it doesn't do well, B complex uh, vitamin is the best friend. It's your best friend. Vitamin B uh, handles a lot of organization in your body. So having the B complex always helps. And we all, you know, as human beings, you always lack B12. Unless you watch that shit, that stupid, uh, not stupid, let's just call it film. Uh, film where they say, hey, you get B12 for eating dirt. Uh, don't eat dirt. Just have some B vitamin. You'll be fine. But B vitamin is very important. Whenever I recommend whatever people feel something's wrong about their body, they're not doing well, or they're not feeling well, just get some B vitamin. You'll live better. Moderation. There is no good amount of politics in the group so if it's politic don't put it on there not even one all right uh if it's on there i see it i will remove it that includes the maga hats okay if your picture has maga hat i'm gonna remove it granted that itself is just a hat not a big deal but because that hat does spark political de uh, debates here and there it will get removed okay so do not post anything political in the group especially doing lecture season just just not smart okay just not smart uh it sparked a debate that people will get heat up all right so you can post whatever you want when it comes to uh political stuff on your own personal page i won't even take it personally i because i'm very mutual about that you know i feel like you know freedom of speech you can do whatever you want but when you put it in the group it sparks confusion even some people don't feel it's uh it's political but if it's political driven of some sort it will uh it will spark some sort of debate that you don't want you know it will go that way when as people talking 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 you gotta get one or two that's talking about that political uh, uh element of it and that's gonna spark a debate that you don't want so uh it's not personal it's just i want to prevent anybody became the monster inside okay so remove it anything that has to do with politic of any nature you know even if you didn't mean it like if, if you didn't mean it you just say hey that's be interesting what do you think about this but because it, it has the element of uh political stuff so we remove it quickly and and, and don't feel like it's personal or anything because uh, hey i post this it's really not about politics i say it's not politics 
but there is element in there. That's why we remove it, right? We can have a lot of fun debates about over everything. None of the things I don't, I don't think anybody will take it personally, especially like the vegan debate. There's, there's not nothing, you know. We can, we can all have fun with it. It is not. Uh, in the end, that didn't matter. That didn't matter to any of us at all. But politics will matter. So, uh, I, I, I just say, there's no moderation of politics. It's zero politics, zero. Okay. Anyway. Uh, five minutes left, technically. But you know, before I forget, I want to wish everybody a happy New Year. It is Chinese New Year today, okay? Chinese New Year today. Uh, even though the celebration has been canceled in China, but it's still Chinese New Year. So I want to wish everybody a really good New Year, uh, Chinese New Year, uh, based on your zodiac, zodiac sign. If you are, uh, your zodiac sign is rat, be very careful, okay? It's not a good thing to sit, to 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 be on the same year as your uh as your zodiac sign. That's that's traditional okay if you think that oh today this year is year the right and you're the right i'm gonna have a great year that's actually the opposite okay uh that that's actually the opposite so yeah if you are the year of the rat if you hear the rat uh the, the way chinese people prevent bad things happening is to wear things that's pure red and usually we wear pure red underwear because that's one thing that we can wear and nobody can see it and nobody has to we feel weird about it so pure red underwear i'm talking about red with nothing on it just red okay so uh that's how we prevent bad things from happening all right so uh if if you born on the right year make sure wear something red every single day that will prevent bad things from happening you know superstitiously uh i only have one pair of red underwear and that's exactly what i use for for dog year i never wear that red underwear unless it's you know uh, is it true Chinese parents try to have their kids born a year of dragon? That is not true. <laughs> that is not true, because we're talking about once every twelve years. So you know they 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 won't they won't care about that. They won't care about that. The year that you're born does um does give a little bit of personality to 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 how you are um in uh in terms of uh, personality, right? So like if you're born a year of rats, you're pretty smart. You're pretty smart. Uh, you you see things quite differently than people. You plan things out here and there. So you're you're, you're the rat. Uh, you're the dog. You're you're very loyal loyal people. Uh, you're the rabbits. Um, you're very energized. You like to do things. Uh, you're the monkeys. Uh, a little bit mischievous. You're the uh, tiger year. Uh, if you're born in the tiger year, you're lazy as hell. It's true. It's true. I. I that's just the way it is. My wife is born the tiger. Uh, the tiger year, she's lazy. <laughs> she even admitted herself. She's like, I'm tiger. I'm lazy. Tiger is lazy, All right? So uh, you know there is some personality. It's fun to read about it. Uh, like uh, Martin, I just told you, tiger years are lazy. Tiger is lazy. Uh, you know everybody should be proud of whatever year they're born into. Uh, uh, year of the dragon doesn't really really have um, a specific thing uh, I don't know a lot of people that's uh, year of the dragon I know a lot of people that year of snakes I know people uh, year of the the ox uh, people that year of the ox uh, tend to get triggered a lot they get triggered very easily so uh, if you year the, the the ox you are you get triggered very quickly um, snake people who are born in the uh, year of snakes uh, people say that they are either very womanly uh like very sexual here and there or they are very sneaky all right very sneaky they will they will not they will not think twice to bash up their friends so um that's one of them um uh people are either the horse are hard working people are the rem or the sheep uh, are also hardworking, but has a very. They get triggered too. They get triggered a lot too. Um, you know the rooster are hard workers that I know. Dogs royal, pigs, pig. People who are born in the year of the pigs are rich. 
they just have they just tend to have good life. I don't know why. People who are born in the year of pigs are usually good life or rich. Well, somehow marry people that work very hard because they don't have to do it. That's just the way it is. If you're born in the year of pig, you're lucky. Just the way it is, okay? Anyways, that's two hours. I enjoyed the smoke with you guys. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, we, we'll do some other cigars some other time. You just have to let me know what cigar you guys want to smoke together. Uh, enjoy it together. I'm more than happy to find the cigar and smoke it together with you guys. As always. Uh, and then, um, you know, Happy New Year. Be careful. Don't get sick. Um, don't go to Chinatown. Don't go to Chinatown. It's, it's still not a big deal. So, don't go to Chinatown. Uh... People, yeah, you know, the sheep has blue eye. That's not true. <laughs> That's not true. Fire and water qualities uh, actually is just like you know, if you're fire, you go you go very well with someone that's water. You know, it, 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 uh, people who are water tend to spend a lot more money than people who are fire. Who uh, usually fire are uh, hardworking and they make money. So, uh, um, so if you're fire. Uh, animal of some sort in your zodiac you tend to work a lot harder and make a lot of money so anyways so yeah have good weekend i will see you guys sometime next week hopefully uh if i'm not in china and uh yeah uh my team go ahead <laughs> go ahead and do that uh i hope everybody gets uh, you know have a healthy year and we have a lot of things to come and and the poor social worker, he get an AA Cohiba for me, so that's lucky. Yeah, I'm telling you, everybody who is born in the year of pigs are lucky. Just the way it is. Just the way it is. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I just want to make sure everybody's good, everybody's healthy, everybody's uh, looking forward to this year. Uh, we got a lot of things coming up, a lot of uh, fun event. I hope you guys can all be active and do a lot of those events with us. Uh, we have a lot of fun. Um, the Cigar train is moving again. It's on its way to me. I'm gonna swap out some cigars in there. I'm gonna throw some more stuff in there, and there's gonna be coins, and there's and it's gonna be all kind of stuff. I'm gonna throw in there. So uh, looking forward for that cigar to move the next person. Uh, we have a list that Michael has compiled, so we're gonna go with that list from now on. Second cigar train will leave. I had to decide how we gotta leave. Uh, who's gonna put the initial cigar in there? So. Uh, I'll figure that out and then once that's completed it will go to the first person as well that being said have a good one have a good night enjoy Sunday I'll see you guys next time